A supercomputer is a computer with a high level of performance as compared to a general purpose computer. The performance of a supercomputer is commonly measured in floating point operations per second. Flops. And today we're counting down top 10 fastest supercomputers in the world 2022. PNCI, the French National Agency for High Performance Computing, and Signs, the National Computing Center for Higher Education, together with Hewlett Packard Enterprise and AMD, unveiled the acquisition of the Daster supercomputer with a speed of 70 peak petaflops. The Adaster system will feature AMD Epic CPUs and AMD Instinct GPUs when it is delivered and operational next year. The supercomputer will be based at Science Data Center in Montpellier, France. Ad Astra is Latin for to the stars. France's Adastra is the second fastest system in Europe and the 10th fastest supercomputer in the world according to latest top 500 list. Time 2A. This is a 61 petaflop supercomputer located in the National Supercomputer Center in Guangzhou, China. It was developed by a team of 1,300 scientists and engineers. Tian 2 Air ranked as 9th fastest supercomputer in the world. According to NUDT, Tian 2 would have been used for simulation, analysis, and government security applications. But 16,000 computer nodes, each comprising two Intel Ivy Bridge Xeon processors and three Xeon Phi coprocessor chips, it represented the world's largest installation of Ivy Bridge and Xeon Phi chips, counting a total of 3,120,000 cores. The Matrix 2000 DSP accelerator came into being because the US government halted shipments of Intel Xeon Phi coprocessors to China several years ago, since they are being used for strategic military purposes rather than for general scientific research. Selene is a supercomputer developed by NVIDIA, capable of achieving 63.460 petaflops, ranking as the 8th fastest supercomputer in the world. Selene is based on the NVIDIA DGX system consisting of AMD CPUs, NVIDIA A100 GPUs, and Mellanox HDDR networking. Selene is based on the NVIDIA DGX SuperPod, which is a high-performance turnkey supercomputer solution provided by NVIDIA using DGX hardware. DGX SuperPod is a tightly integrated system that combines high-performance DGX compute nodes with fast storage and high-bandwidth networking. It aims to provide a turnkey solution to high-demand machine learning workloads. Selene was built in three months and is the fastest industrial system in the US. While being the second most energy-efficient supercomputing system ever. Selene utilizing 1080 AMD Epic CPUs and 4320A100 GPUs is used to train BERT, the natural language processor, in less than 16 seconds, which usually takes most smaller systems about 20 minutes to execute. Selene is deployed by the Argonne National Laboratory to research different ways to end the coronavirus. It has been used to tackle problems around the concepts of protein docking and quantum chemistry, which are vital to developing an understanding of the coronavirus and a potential cure for it. Perlmutter is a supercomputer scheduled to be delivered to the National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center of the United States Department of Energy in late 2020 as the successor to Cori. It is being built by Cray and is based on their upcoming Shasta architecture, which is planned to utilize Zen 3-based AMD Epic CPUs and next-generation NVIDIA Tesla GPUs. Its intended use cases are nuclear fusion simulations, climate projections and material and biological research. Perlmutter reached 64 petaflops of processing power. The system is the namesake of Saul Perlmutter, an astrophysicist at Berkeley Lab who shared the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics for his contributions to research showing that the expansion of the universe is accelerating. So it's fitting that one of the initial use cases for the Perlmutter supercomputer will be in support of the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, ESI, which is probing the effect of dark energy on the universe's expansion. The Perlmutter system will help map the visible universe spanning 11 billion light years by processing data from DESI which is capable of capturing as many as 5,000 galaxies in a single exposure. The Sunway Taihu Light is a Chinese supercomputer which, as of June 2022, is ranked 6th in the top 500 list, with a Linpack benchmark rating of 93 petaflops. The name is translated as Divine Power, the Light of Taihu Lake. As of June 2017, it is ranked as the 16th most energy-efficient supercomputer in the Green 500, with an efficiency of 6.051 gigaflops per watt. It was designed by the National Research Center of Parallel Computer Engineering and Technology and is located at the National Supercomputing Center in Waxian, the city of Waxi in Jiangsu Province, China. 
The Sunway Taihu Lite was the world's fastest supercomputer for two years, from June 2016 to June 2018, according to the top 500 lists. The system runs on its own operating system, Sunway Rays OS 2.0.5, which is based on Linux. The system has its own customized implementation of OpenACC to aid the parallelization of code. Sierra, or ATS2, is a supercomputer built for the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory for use by the National Nuclear Security Administration as the second advanced technology system. It is primarily used for predictive applications and stockpile stewardship, helping to assure the safety, reliability, and effectiveness of the United States nuclear weapons. Sierra boasts a peak performance of 125 petaflip, ranked as the fifth fastest supercomputer in the world on the latest top 500 list. The Sierra system uses IBM Power 9 CPUs in conjunction with NVIDIA Tesla V100 GPUs. The nodes in Sierra are Witherspoon IBM S922 LC open power servers with two GPUs per CPU and four GPUs per node. These nodes are connected with EDR and Fini band. In 2019, Sierra was upgraded with IBM Power System AC922 nodes. Summit, or OLCF4, is a supercomputer developed by IBM for use at Oak Ridge Leadership Computing Facility, a facility at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Capable of 200 petaflops thus making it the fourth fastest supercomputer in the world. It held the number one position from November 2018 to June 2020. Its current Limpac benchmark is clocked at 148.6 petaflops. As of November 2019, the supercomputer had ranked as the fifth most energy efficient in the world, with a measured power efficiency of 14.668 gigaflops per watt. Summit was the first supercomputer to reach exaflop speed, achieving 1.88 exaflops during a genomic analysis, and is expected to reach 3.3 exaflops using mixed precision calculations. Summit is very similar in architecture to the Sierra supercomputer built for the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. The Summit supercomputer provides scientists and researchers the opportunity to solve complex tasks in the fields of energy, artificial intelligence, human health and other research areas. It has been used in earthquake simulation, extreme weather simulation using AI, material science, genomics, and in predicting the lifetime of neutrinos in physics. Before we continue to top 3, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Lumi is a petascale supercomputer located at the CSC Data Center in Kajani, Finland. As of June 2022 the computer is the fastest supercomputer in Europe. The completed system consists of around 200,000 cores, capable of executing more than 375 petaflops, with a theoretical peak performance of more than 550 petaflops, which places it among the top five most powerful computers in the world. The June 2022 Top 500 ranks Lumi at number 3, with a measured performance of 151.9 petaflops. The system is being supplied by Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Providing an HPE Crayx supercomputer with next-generation 64-core AMD Epic CPUs and AMD Radeon Instinct GPUs. Lumi is a GPU-based system, and the majority of its computing power comes from its GPU cores, an architecture which was chosen primarily for its cost per performance advantage. The system is equipped with 32 terabytes of RAM, and storage includes a 7 petabyte partition of flash storage. Combined with 80 petabytes of traditional storage, both based on the Lustre parallel file system, as well as a 30 petabyte data management service based on Ceph. This gives the system a total of 117 petabytes of storage, with an aggregated I.O. bandwidth of 2 terabytes per second. The computer uses 100% hydroelectric energy, and the heat it generates will be captured and used to heat buildings in the area, making Lumi one of the most environmentally efficient supercomputers in the world. Yugaku is a petascale supercomputer at the Riken Center for Computational Science in Kobe, Japan. It started development in 2014 as the successor to the K-Computer and made its debut in 2020. It is named after an alternative name for Mount Fuji. It became the fastest supercomputer in the world in the June 2020 Top 500 list, displacing the IBM Summit. As well as becoming the first ARM architecture-based computer to achieve this. At this time it also achieved 1.42 exaflips using the mixed FP16-FP64 Precision HPLAI benchmark. It started regular operations in 2021. In 2020, Fugaku also attained top spots in other rankings that test computers on different workloads, including Graph 500, HPLAI, and HPCG benchmark. No previous supercomputer has ever led all four rankings at once. 
Bugaku was superseded as the fastest supercomputer in the world by Frontier in May 2022. Ulip Hackard Enterprise Frontier, or OLCF5, is the world's first exascale supercomputer, hosted at the Oak Ridge Leadership Computing Facility in Tennessee, United States. It is based on the Cray X and is the successor to Summit. As of June 2022, Frontier was the world's fastest supercomputer using AMD CPUs and GPUs. Frontier achieved an R max of 1.102 exaflops. The supercomputer tops the green 500 list for most efficient supercomputer, measured at 62.68 gigaflops per watt. Frontier uses 9472 AMD Epic 7A53's Trento 64 Core 2 GHz CPUs and 37888 Radeon Instinct MI250X GPUs. They can perform double precision operations at the same speed as single precision. The machine was built at a cost of $600 million. It began deployment in 2021 and reached full capability in 2022. Frontiers in storage layer comprises of SSDs installed directly into compute nodes and connected to AMD's Epic processors using a PCIe Gen 4 interface. These NVMe drives will offer an aggregate performance of over 75 terabytes per second read speed over 35 terabyte per second write speed, and over 15 billion random read input output operations per second, along with the 700 petabytes or Ironsight wide luster filet system. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.